Herr Präsident, ich habe das Vergnügen, Ihnen nach der deutschen Ausgabe meines Buches und auch noch die holländische zu überreichen. Mhm. Äh, danke. Ich weiß, dass herzlich, Sie herzlich, herzlich. in der deutschen Ausgabe auch lesen und Sie auch verstehen könnten. Aber warum haben Sie meinen Namen mit OE geschrieben? Weil Sie das letzte Mal, als wir miteinander sprachen, das ist nicht gut. wir sagten, Sie unterschreiben noch mit OE. Ja, Sie aber, aber äh, mein, mein Name ist SU. Hier ja. ist es SU. Sehr gut, das ist sehr ja. gut. Aber das ist nicht gut. Ich bin Ihrer Unterschrift gefolgt. Die geht noch mit OE. Oh, ja. Sie wollen die nicht mehr ändern. Nein. Ja. Wie viele Sprachen, Herr Präsident, sprechen Sie eigentlich? Oh. Nur eine Sprache gut, nur eine. Und das ist Indonesisch. Wie haben Sie beinahe erfunden? Aber ich spreche äh, Indonesisch, Japanisch, Sundanisch, Holländisch, Deutsch, Französisch, Englisch. Deutsch? Deutsch. Natürlich, Holländisch. And how much Japanese, Ibu David, do you think the president will learn in your presence? <laughs> <laughs> He knows a lot. He knows a lot. <laughs> how do you get informed, Mr. President, on, on political affairs? Are you having certain newspapers from abroad you're reading or do you just get, get informed by your ministers? Yes, I get informed by the Minister of Information and by Dr. Ruslan Abdulgani. My, say, indoctrination minister. Yeah. But I myself, I have read very much books when I was not yet president. Now I have no time to read. It's quite interesting to follow the books which impressed you during the years, during your speeches. Mm -hmm. What book would you think has, has had the greatest influence on your political thinking? Oh. I can't mention one because it is, uh, my political thinking is, is uh, a mixture of many, many thoughts from here, from there, from there. Once I make a speech about my uh, life in the world of the mind. When I was young I was very poor. I was deprived of every pleasure in material life. I lived in a very small house, I slept on a bamboo stretcher, I had not even electric light in my house. I read in, in, in the light of a small uh, petroleum lamp. But then I left this world, this material world, and I sought my consolation in books. I left this material world and went into the world of the mind. And in that world of the mind, I met with many great men. I met with uh, Dante, I met with Mazzini, I met with Garibaldi, I met with uh, Marx, I met with Engels, I met with Rosa Luxemburg, I met with uh, Liebknechts, the Liebknechts. I met with Gladstone, I met with... Uh, The, the webs. I met with uh, Hitler. Have you read? Yes, yes. I met with Hitler. Oh, I read his uh, Mein Kampf mm -hmm. three times. Mm -hmm. But I uh, also read uh, Konrad Heinden. I read uh, many other books about Hitler. Mm -hmm. I read Fritz Sternberg. I read. Uh, Karl Henry is Austrian socialist. Adler? Yeah. I read Adler. him. Yeah. I read uh, the leaders of the French Revolution. Uh, Mirabeau, Mara, and uh, also Pierwanya de Mericourt, the, the woman leader. Dante, uh, not Dante, Danton. And uh, the Russian socialist I met with. I mean, in the world of the mind, yeah. I met and I spoke with yes. uh, Plekhanov, I spoke with Lenin, I spoke with uh, Sun Yat-sen from uh, China, yeah. I spoke with 
their leaders of uh, New Japan, with Okuma, with uh, Taiko Takamori. I met with a great nationalist from the Philippines, Rizal, mm -hmm. you know, yes. and, and Manila. So from them, I got ideas. And all those ideas I put in a great jack and I, I bought those ideas. <laughs> then I came to my own policy. The Panchasila and later also the, the five uh, talismans of the Indonesian Revolution. Yeah. Tell me, Mr. President, what's coming into your mind quite suddenly if somebody mentions Germany? What's the first, what would jump into your mind? That uh, Germany now is different from Germany before. I know <laughs> Germany, especially in the early days of the socialist uh, movement. That's why I said, uh, then I, I met with, uh, met with, uh, the, with, with Liebknecht, with Rosa Luxemburg, with Babel. I followed Babel's uh, debate with Jean Jaurès in Brussels. Yes. Ah, there were great leaders. But then came Hitler, and then came the post-Hitler time. I think we leave it like that. Hmm? I think we leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it is a nice end. <laughs> Thank you.